Hello everyone, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you demonstration of another Java project and this is in JSP and Servlet as online food delivery project. So uh, if you are willing to buy this project from code one, uh, you can directly buy it from the description link, uh, uh, link in the description box. Also, you can connect us over the Gmail or WhatsApp or Skype. So we'll share the source code uh, and also we'll do the complete setup at your machine. And after configuration, by our remote team you have to follow this demo in order to execute this application so how these features and functionalities are working so let's check first i'm going to execute the application then we'll talk about the technical things and the features and functionality of the application so very first if you want to run the application you have to run your eclipse and this is your root file just root folder right click on this go to run as run on server select here as a tomcat 8.5 click on next click on finish it will launch the project will launch over your chrome browser or after launching it will look like this and before that let's talk about more about the technical things that we are using over here so very first to store the backend information it's using mysql workbench so here we have database and into the mysql database we have these tables categories dessert and orders and that lots of tables are there if i talk about the user table uh, or if you want to view the data of any table just right click on the table select the first option you will be see the table data over there so there are we have three types of roles the first is a admin admin and the restaurant and the customer so role id one always will be for the admin user two will be for the customer uh, sorry two will be for the restaurant and three will be for the customer so you can identify the user accordingly we are using the common table over here and if i talk about the front uh, backend thing it's using uh, jsp and servlet so handle the backend things like uh, like controller backend controller it's using servlet and it's we have a bean package controller exceptions model to connect with the database operations and to connect with the database it's using jdbc data source and uh, here we have utilities and uh, another resources we have a configuration file so in this configuration we have different things like system properties and database configuration other things so it's using mysql database 8 and following the jdbc connected by the jdbc architecture and for the front end it's using jsp html and css so uh, it's a, the, the the logic is written the, the the programming things are written into the java server page it's also using jstl and it has a html code css and the bootstrap as a styling framework it's a maven project so we are using pom.m uh, pom.xml here that's going to manage about all the dependencies and the project builds okay so we have already done the run the projects but let's run it again so just right click here go to run as run on server select the server click on next click on finish okay it will launch over your chrome browser after launching you will see the login page directly over here but when you click on the home page you will see this kind of image and the footer and welcome to the food delivery some slider kind of things is there after that we have two options sign up or sign in when i click on the sign up and let's say i register as a new user so let's say user one and i'm just entering a testing data while you operating it you can add meaningful data or your names okay here into the password i just enter demo at the rate one two three and demo at the rate one two three the first letter of the password will be capital there is there are some validations i will show you in a while and let's say user one at the rate gmail.com and make sure while you entering the data in these parameters you are entering the valid data let's say it says enter 10 digit mobile number so it should be 10 only so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and i click the sign up when i hit the sign up button it says uh, it's not valid email okay we have a two dot here so i have to remove one and uh, now let's try to sign up uh, you can see the sign yeah, user is registered successfully when i go to the database and refresh the table from here i can see the new record is entered with a role id 3 it means this is the customer uh, now uh, i was talking about the about the validation so it's using all kind of validation the registration form so when you hit the sign up it's give you all the fields are required and in a password it required a pro proper combination or in the email it's required that the gmail.com email format 
now we have three types of user that's going to log in from this login form so first let's log in as an admin so to get that username and the password for the admin we have here admin one two three as a username and the password will be again demo at the rate one two three and you can check it in your database as well so when i log in here as an admin what options i have i have option to add a restaurant owner so let's say i want to add any restaurant owner so let's say say raj patel this is the person who is the owner of a restaurant and the login let's say raj at the gmail.com and for the password again we are using demo at the rate one two three you can use any password as per your requirement okay this is not a uh, this is a login id so we can keep it raj one two three four four or something like that for the email we are going to enter it here Then is it phone number choose uh, any image so this is a profile image but i am using this food image here to like upload you can use any meaningful image uh, while you are uh, registering or adding an honor click on the save uh, here into the restaurant list on a list i can see this record is available here with this detail now next option we have a restaurant so let's say I want to register a restaurant. First, I have to say select the owner. So let's say Raj Patel, we have newly registered here. It's coming here. Now, so we have registered uh, and we can view the data. Like, like we can, we are getting this data here, all the owners. And uh, let's say we are going to, uh, uh, the name of the restaurant. So let's say Raj Dhawa, anything you want to enter here. Uh, enter the contact details so again the 10 digit phone number enter the cd let's say i'm gonna say bhopal or uh, mumbai enter rating of the restaurant let's say i can say five choose image of the restaurant so i'm going to choose this image that's fine enter description enter address click on save so again into the restaurant list i can see this new restaurant so it's coming here also we have option to search it by by the restaurant search by the name uh, first name or the last name so let's say i enter op here and i click on the search it will filter data for me and according to the cd let's say mumbai we have recently added and if i search it will filter the data for me now again so we have we have added owners restaurants uh, different restaurants those restaurants can also log in and uh, on a list is there so this is the role of the admin so admin can manage the other restaurant their owners their uh, <clears throat> restaurant list and now or uh, other options we have my profile where admin can update their profile the change password and the logout now let's log in as a restaurant so we have recently registered as a restaurant uh, as a as a restaurant owner here so let's log in with this restaurant owner and see what this user can do over here so i just enter the username password again you can see here we have different options like dessert section dessert list food categories and different options let's say into the category uh, i'm going to add some category let's say lunch breakfast is already there into the database so let's add it as a dinner and dinner meals as a description we can say click on save and now when i go to the dessert section i can select the restaurant name dessert on on for which restaurant i want to add the dessert so let's say Rajdadawa and enter the dessert name and let's say anything we can say lime juice and the price 50 rupees enter discount let's say i'm going to give it 10 percent discount image uh, so for the juice image i can select this image again and click on save so dessert is saved and when i go to the dessert list i can see two dessert three desserts are there so this is the recently i have added i can also search the dessert by its name so let's say i want to search it my lime juice and when you see you will see the data is filtered okay so this restaurant owner going to add their dessert the category is already we have added for the food section we can add a food into the dinner category let's say uh, for a food we have a dinner and uh, enter food name so 
uh, the category is showing here for this honor only for the food so here uh, we have added dinner and enter the food let's say i'm gonna say let's say let's say let's say anything like 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 vegetables vegetable or anything so let's say price is 500 and 40 percent discount choose it image so i want to just upload this image click on save another full food list i can see this newly added over data over there so here we have the LOD and this is the data and okay this is that uh, recently added vegetables and the price is 500 after 40 percent discount it's automatically calculating and coming as a 300 okay we can also edit and delete these records over here and then we have a food order list if any when you order the food it will display here to the restaurant owner for the dessert user the ordered the if, if any customer log in and going to order from this restaurant the detail will be display over here under the food order list and dessert order list and again the common profile my profile change password is there so last user we have as a um, as a customer so let's see what customer can do over here so we have this user that we recently registered so let's log in with this user and i'm going to log in with this user very first and then i can see the list of desserts that is available the lime juice recently we have added and uh, food list the the food that we have recently added like the roti and the different things are there and uh, food order list nothing is there because this user didn't order anything yet so uh, even the food card and dessert card is also empty so let's say i'm going to add we have two options i can directly order this uh, dessert from here so for that what i need to do i can just all click on the order and i enter the city name and so I just I'm just I'm going to enter random numbers and uh, address click on save okay it's invalid because it should be a digit that's fine so, okay digit order is successfully now if I go to the digit order list I can see this okay as coming here and uh, food order list also uh, from the food section I can order it directly and i just need to enter the city name enter pin code address click on the save so under the food order list i can see this record now it's coming okay again we have an option to add cards so when i click to add to card uh, i'm just going to add two orders over there food card so the card sorry it was dessert card so into the dessert card i can see this but we don't have option to order all of them initially again we are going to do like we can add add the card into the delete the card so card is there but individually we have to order all the food product one by one as we did earlier okay also from this uh, dessert card we can delete the product similarly we can use the food card and uh, food list is there now oh, under the food order list i can see here and the record is available here we have a search option and we have different details like customer name and date of the order and all the details things all the complete information is storing in these tables to view the data of the tables you can just right click and select the first option you will be able to see the data of the table okay so that's all about the food order system as a web application will run over your browser and if you need it's a minor project or for a college student of anyone who are preparing for interview and is starting the java development this is, is initially necessary to understand the basic concept the project is following mbc architecture and we are here to help you to set up the complete project and will also explain you how the things are working over here how the internal code is um, connected to one file to each for other other file so these are the paid projects so if you want need it just connect us as a code one support so the support team will get back to you with our complete details and if you are preparing for the interview this will be very helpful thank you so much for watching if you like the video if you if you like the video please like and subscribe code one for more content related to the programming in java world thank you